Hi, this is Kush from creativepadphotography.com. Welcome back to the Photoshop tutorial for beginners video series and we are continuing with part three where we'll be looking at a very, very important tool uh, called as the spot healing brush tool. This is one of my favorite tools in Photoshop because it just makes the life of a photographer super easy as you will be seeing as I'll demonstrate this through multiple images in this uh, video. So you've got a cell phone shot here, very casual looking shot. So the first thing I'm actually going to do here is, um, of course, the first thing you should always do is just make sure you're not working on the original. All right, so we've got uh, stuff. So I'm just going to first of all use the crop tool here I, I didn't think that the crop tool deserved a, a video of its own so i've not included it it's just normal cropping but you can also use this tool to straighten out images i'm just going to straighten this a bit right this looks better so coming back to this tool you just have to hold down your button on this band-aid thing here and the first option that's what you to select spot healing brush tool and we're just going to zoom in because we're going to fix some spots on uh, this person's face so in order to zoom in either you can go to view and zoom in or you can just press control or command and plus right so right so we've got here and the problem with you know casual cell phone shots or even uh, you know shoots in which you're not really taking care of uh, makeup and stuff like that is stray hair and you know spots like this so even in those shots you can have these problems so you can correct all this very easily by using this tool so um, you can see we've got two spots here on the cheek so we're going to just correct it so how you correct this is once you uh, select this brush right so that's how you select you'll see this cursor like a circle you can increase and decrease the size of this uh, using your square bracket key which is uh, close to the backspace key okay there's another way to do this is to go here and change the size of the brush don't worry too much about the hardness and other things uh, these are more important in other tools which we're going to be looking on later you can leave the hardness somewhere towards the higher side so even 100 is fine anything is okay so uh, right so once you have this now let's deal with this spot first right so it's a small spot um, and how this tool works is very easy all you have to do is just encircle the spot make sure that the brush is big enough to completely uh, you know cover the spot and then just click your mouse button and what Photoshop is going to do is is basically going to stitch in from the surrounding areas so it's just going to disappear right so you can see how easy that was uh, let's say this is a bigger spot so we're just going to increase a, uh, you know increase the brush size a bit using the square bracket crease and same procedure just press it again and it's gone right let's look for some other spots when you're looking for spots like this it always helps to clean your make sure that your monitor is wiped clean uh, especially if you're a person like me who doesn't do this often doesn't clean things often uh, because sometimes you might just be clicking on something and it might just have been a spot on your screen right so it does happen a lot uh, another way to just test that is to just move this around a bit and of course if the thing moves with the image then it's a spot on the screen okay so right so we have this little spot here we're just gonna correct it you can use this for anything pimples birthmarks rashes scars it's just too easy right and you can also use this for stray hair like this so all you'll have to do in that case is you just have to drag it along like a line like this so you can see it just goes away a right, little bit of a stray hair here a uh, little bit of a spot here okay maybe a bit of stray hair here yeah so you can see if i just hide this layer okay and if i show you the original you're gonna see this was our original and so unhide this you gonna be able to do a good job of removing these things now this is a cell phone shot so uh megapixels are not enough so the details are not enough if you have a proper dslr shot here of course you're going to have more details so photoshop will find it much easier to do this job and it'll be the result will be even uh, better but my job is just to uh, show you right so that's one area you can use this tool for that's what its original usage is as the name suggests for portrait editor is for portrait people it's one of the most favorite tools now we're going to use it even in a landscape image because what happens in a landscape image is uh, for example i've just put this image for you you can edit this particular image with me uh, you can find this in the description of this video so i'm just going to open this image just this create a duplicate 
Okay, so you can see a lot of times in your landscape images, they're going to be people, right? And sometimes it's not easy to ask them to move away. So they do end up coming in the frame. So this is a great tool to get rid of these people, right? You can some, see some people here also next to the lighthouse. So we're going to remove uh, most of them. Okay, so let's get started with this guy. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit where he is. Okay, so all you have to do now is just treat it uh, in the same way. All you have to do is just make sure that you're covering this person completely. So I'm not letting go of my mouse button. And boom, so it's gone. Sometimes you may just uh, require multiple editing. For this, we can see it just left some spots here. This is actually a good time. I'll just undo this. And this is a good time to actually probably reduce the hardness. Because what hardness does is, uh, hardness is about the, how defined are the areas of your selection? Like how, if it's a, just a circle, like if I just click like this, how strong should the, the boundary of the circle be? How apparent or, uh, should it be so sometimes when it's too hard you can see the boundary so it depends really on the subject what you're doing like for example uh, you know here it might be a problem because all this is very different so when photoshop does stitch in things if the boundary is too hard you may be able to make out things so i'm just going to reduce the hardness a bit and let's just try this again maybe it'll do a much more subtle job Yeah, so I think you can see this is slightly better. We can see a bit of a patch here. So you can just run on it again like this. And uh, of course, if you have to nitpick, really zoom in 100% in this image, maybe you'll be able to see some things. But if you zoom out and for most people, that should be good enough. And this was a bit of a tough edit because of the waves and all. A lot of times you'll find that it's very, very easy to remove people because the surrounding area is pretty much, uh, it's not that demanding. But sometimes it is, so I have another image for that too. Uh, these people should be easy. I've not tried this with them, but let's see. So if I'm just going to probably encircle them and just click. Yeah, so you can see, maybe you'll have to just do it again. Alright. Right. Okay. Alright, so, so you can see, it's just pretty easy to use this tool and, you know, just get rid of small distractions. I'm going to show you one more image where another common problem is in landscape images is your wires. So of course, this is not a landscape image. It's the first place I could find some electrical wires. So I just took a shot. Uh, but you can use the same procedure here. You can just take your spot healing brush tool. And just drag this. So sometimes it can be a bit tough to, you know, exactly drag along like this because ultimately you're doing it from a mouse. So I'm going to, sh uh, so you can see it's done a great job. It's just stitched in the sky and your uh, electrical wire has just disappeared, vanished. But it can be a bit inconvenient to draw like this. So I'm just going to tell you a bonus tip of how to take care of anytime you have something linear like this. What you can do is just press shift, press once and then press again here. And it's just going to draw a straight line for you. And it's going to just do this like this. Right, so just a bonus tip, you don't have to do it. Uh, let's also try to get rid of this whole block here. May or may not work with big selections. It can uh, not work that well. But in the next to next video, I'll be showing you a function called as content aware, which will I'll come back to this very image, uh, which will be perfect for this. Let's see. But if the spot healing brush tool does a decent job at it, but if you see I'm not sure if you can notice this here, but there is a bit of a patch here. So I'll have to again go and probably do this and another patch comes up. So that is a problem if the surrounding area is not of the right contrast and it's not similar. Sometimes your spot healing brush tool cannot, uh, does not do a very good job, but most of the times it does. So for this, I'll, I'll come back to this image in the next to next video. We'll be using another function uh, which will do this job much faster and in a much absolutely flawless way. So just wait for that video. Right, so, right, so that's how your spot healing brush tool works. Now I'm going to open one image where it doesn't do, so just to show you the limitations of this tool too, right? Uh, so we learned that you can remove people, but sometimes it's not possible. 
like for example in this shot so first we're going to see what we can do in this shot with um, the spot healing brush tool so so I've just this is a 30 second exposure and of course the problem with this is I'm not shooting these people I was actually taking this shot and these people came they had some wedding shoot or something going on and can you imagine they've they stood there for 30 seconds like this right so that is an annoying couple which we will learn to remove not in this video in the next video we'll be learning about how to use the patch tool but in this video I want to just want to quickly show you how what will happen when we try to do it with the spot healing brush tool but let's try to also fix what we can with the spot healing brush tool which are these lens flare like things that we've got so i was not using a lens hood here and this was a very bright area a lot of lights here uh, so i've got this stuff here so it's very easy to remove with the spot healing brush tool now here make sure your hardness is more because what's going to happen is once you once i click here it's going to stitch back these uh, purple sticks and these are hard so we don't want a soft edge around them right so just do this and it should do a great job now you can see maybe uh, it's not noticeable to someone who, who has not seen this image, right? So I'm not saying it's going to do an absolutely 100% job, but uh, it's, it's going to be uh, good enough. Another thing I forgot to do is just to duplicate this so that I could have shown you the before and after. Okay, so anyway, so that was pretty much it. So you can see we got rid of the lens flare. Now, let's come back to these people, right? Now, before I show you that, I just want to, right, so... Let's start with our spot healing brush tool and let's see if it will be able to do a good job. My guess is not because the surrounding areas are not, uh, first of all, they're pretty big and the surrounding areas are just maybe restrict us because it's not the same. Like now the sky is going to come in. So probably Photoshop is going to think, okay, the sky here, maybe the right part and it's going to, you know, do this. So it's probably going to think that this area is also right since it was just surrounding this area so it has stitched a bit of this also here you can see it's not doing a very good job right so in the next video i'll be showing you how you can actually do this very very well using the next tool which is called as the patch tool right so i'm going to be making that video pretty soon and i will see you in that video i hope you like this uh start using it in your own images practice with the images that i've given you and i'll see you in the next video bye for now